federal push to get guns off the streets. According to gun violence archives, at least 37 shootings have happened across Hampton Roads since July 1st. 17 people have died. And now the Justice Department is launching what it's calling strike forces in five key gun trafficking corridors across the country. 13 News Now anchor Janet Roach tells us more. This is the easy to read graphic Norfolk police posted on his Facebook page for all to see. 481 guns recovered year to date, 64 recovered from felons. And Chief Larry Boone's message, if we want an immediate impact, we have to stop the flow of guns. We don't have six months. We don't have six months. This was the easy to hear frustration from a community sick of violence. They marched in Portsmouth Wednesday night with a message for the gunfire to stop. And way up on the federal level, the Justice Department launches a program they think will trickle down to our local streets where bullets are being fired every day. It's about stopping the flow of guns on the front end before they travel to a criminal's grip. Attorney General Merrick Garland is kicking off five so-called strike forces in heavy gun trafficking corridors. The gun violence tragedy is uh, now facing the country and facing it over many years. Uh, uh, needless to say, affects our communities. This will be a focus coordination across jurisdictions to cut down on the supply of firearms from source cities before they travel into five key market regions that include New York and Washington, D.C. Garland saying all too often, guns found at crime scenes come from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. The coalition to stop gun violence responds. You always have to take the step back and say, how did these guns get here? And so one of the things that we've seen is states even that have what we would deem as strong gun laws, uh, they are situated in near states that are not. And so we're, there's a will, there's a way. So in Norfolk, out of 850 firearms recovered in trace in 2020, most overwhelmingly came from Virginia. 57 from unknown origins, 24 traced to Florida. 41 of the guns recovered from individuals are connected to shooting incidents. And the Justice Department says it will use the latest data, evidence and intelligence from crime scenes to identify patterns, leads and potential suspects in violent gun crimes. Janet Roach, 13 News Now. 13 News Now invited the police chiefs from the seven cities to talk with us about the recent surge in gun violence. They agreed to join us next week for a roundtable. You can text your questions to 757-628-6200. We'll address the crime in our communities, looking at root causes and possible solutions. Watch 757 Gun Violence Chiefs on the Crisis live Monday night at 7, streaming on all of our digital platforms.